My super ex-girlfriend movie review. So I saw this video in the DVD shop, in the rental shop, and I thought, yeah, that looks like a fun, light-hearted comedy that doesn't require any thinking. You know, just perfect to turn off my brain and unwind with. And that's pretty much what I've got. Uh, anyone who's seen the previews should be familiar with the premise. Luke Wilson plays an ordinary guy who, through accident of circumstances, eventually finds himself dating a superhero and then breaking up with her. And it turns out she doesn't handle breakups well. Uh, now, the idea of a superhero dating is not new. Comic books have been doing this for years. In fact, my theory is that comic books are just like soap operas for men. Uh, the most famous example is perhaps Spider-Man in the 1960s and 1970s and all his kind of romantic troubles. But it's true of a number of superheroes. But the idea of playing it for comedy is new. Or at least I think so. Let, let me know if I'm missing anything. Uh, so I thought it was kind of an original idea to kind of turn this into comedy and kind of, you know, ask the ridiculous question, what would happen if uh, one of these superheroes just did not handle breakups well? Unfortunately, it's just a one-note gag. Once you get the joke about the obsessive ex-girlfriend with superpowers, the film really doesn't have a lot else to offer. Uh, to his credit, the director seems to have realized this in advance and kept the movie short. It clocks in at a very watchable 90 minutes. Uh, which is notable in this day and age of films that go on for way too long. This is watchable just when you're starting to get bored with the premise, the movie kind of wraps itself up and then the film is over. Uh, there are a number of very funny people acting in this film. There's Luke Wilson, Eddie Izzard, Rain Wilson, uh, Wanda Sykes, Unfortunately, none of them are given any good material to work with. Actually, I take that back. Rain Wilson is very funny uh, as the best friend character who's also a complete jerk. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of them are not given a lot to work with. I'm, I'm a huge Eddie Izzard fan. A uh, friend of mine introduced him to me. Well, not, I didn't, he didn't introduce Eddie Izzard physically in person to me, but introduced a comedy of Eddie Izzard to me, you know what I mean, uh, back in university. And I've been a big fan of his stand-up ever since. Um, but yeah, he's, he's not very funny in this film, presumably just because the writers didn't give him anything to work with. I guess it's a reminder that you can have a lot of very talented comedians in your film, but if you don't give them decent material to work with, uh, they just can't be funny.